another reason why people need to keep their guns secured and we should probably have like a federal man mandate where people are required to have their guns and a gun safe and be required to buy a gun safe to have their guns in when they get guns. In a tragic, gut-wrenching example that this can happen anywhere. Last week, a baby shot twice by a sibling who picked up a loaded handgun in Detroit. I'm told that baby is recovering. Then head out to Howe last night, the worst unfolding for a family here. Howe police confirming Sunday just after 6 in the evening. Howe police and Livingston County Sheriff's deputies rushed to a home here on Oak Square Lane. That is where police say a two-and-a-half-year-old child had gained access to an unsecured firearm that resulted in an accidental shooting. The child was immediately transported by EMS to a local hospital and was later pronounced deceased. But there's more. That That's really sad that because of the neglect of these parents that this kid ends up killing itself. Notice the police posters in the garage of the Howell home. This tragedy has struck the family of a Metro Detroit police officer. We are told the father of the child who picked up an unsecured loaded handgun resulting in that child's death is a veteran Dearborn police officer Corporal David Lacey. De wow. The, the child is a child of a veteran cop. Wow. And he is so, so neglectful that he can't even secure his gun around his kids. Like, and this guy was a cop. Like, how many other cops do this where they leave their unsecured guns around their kids? Wow, this is crazy. Um, this cop, this ex-cop should definitely be punished for, uh, the child neglect. Dearborn police calling this a personal family matter. If an officer needs time away, they get that time. And if charges are filed in this case, the department will then review the corporal's job status.